Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Common Sense Education Tool Review video. Um, you have Tanner and Chrissy here with you today. And um, Tanner, I understand that you have a tool you'd like to tell us about. Yeah, this is one we reviewed. I can actually find that out for you exactly when we reviewed it. Please April do. 2021. It was this year. <laughs> apparently it's meaningless um, but this is one we had our eye on for a while because we launched a site called wide up in school that was a support site for the pandemic and this was one of the resources that we highlighted on that site and then later had it reviewed and it's been a tool i've been thinking about quite a lot that i'd like to share with people so let me uh share my screen here so we can take a look at this thing So this is our review of this tool. It's called Hello Ruby. And it is, um, calling it a tool is a bit of a stretch. It's more of a resource. It's a website that started actually as a book series. Um, this uh, woman, Linda Lucas, I think is how you pronounced her name. She's Finnish. Um, she kickstarted this book series that was about making coding accessible to young kids ages four to eight. And she, um, this was inspired by her own struggles to learn coding. And when she would run up against tough stuff, she would try to explain it in a very, very simple way to herself and then recorded that and, and uh, created this book series that has since become um, a website here for supporting at-home learning or school-based learning. Um, and what I really like about it is the lessons or the activities are all um, like low-tech, offline, even though they're all about computer science and coding concepts. They're totally like hands-on, crafty. They have She's incredibly good with her like aesthetic sensibility. Everything looks really cool and fun. And she's also incredibly inventive with the activities she comes up with. And I keep saying she, because I think it's literally just her and maybe some support people. Um, it so has she's sort got of a Pinterest feel. Yeah, Pinterest, like DIY, scrappy kind of thing, which fits with the idea of computer science and creation and making. Um, and her activities, they all have these little handouts, and they often involve cutting things out, pasting things, um, or creating drawing, um, just sort of messing around and learning these key concepts like what's software versus what's hardware and can you pair those up? Um, you know, there are things that are more maybe digital citizenship focused or um, privacy and security focused, like what, you know, what kind of data um, are uh, websites collecting on you and that kind of thing. And of course, this is a little tricky. We, um, we graded this grades two through five. Um, but you know, some of these activities maybe are a little bit of a stretch for some younger kids who may not be as familiar with all of this like data collection and these different types of places you can go online. But um, you know, I, you know, you can pick and choose. What I also like, particularly in, in her learning approach, is that there's sort of like these really like wild examples of a fusion of historical thinking and kind of future thinking. So getting kids to imagine a life before, before internet and like what was watching cartoons or listening to music like before the internet? You can imagine this would be a fun activity I think for kids because they would have to talk to family or teachers to try and even figure out what this was, maybe do some research um, and then kind of comparing that to what the world is like now and um, and then thinking about in the future, what might these things, how might these things evolve? Like it's a really well thought out approach of historical thinking, present day, future, um, really, really great. Uh, there's also, and this is where we'll start to get in because 
if you recall, we only gave this a three star rating. Um, that's still a good rating for us, but it wasn't quite the highest rating. That's because on the teacher side of things, you know, the organization isn't ideal. It's literally all just listed here and you kind of scroll through all of the myriad resources. Um, I forget how many episodes are there, but I think um, 10 episodes. Um, it could be a lot better organized in terms of the learning experience. But still, even so that you kind of get lost in this, the learning design is so solid. She even has um, things for teachers to do. Um, like I love these, uh, let's see if I can pull this up here. There are activities that look like, just like the kids activities, but for teachers. Wow. You know, to, ha to do some kind of pre-thinking. And this is a huge part of, uh, you know, an issue with computer science education is a lot of teachers maybe don't feel fully prepared. And I think this kind of makes it feel accessible, right? Like, it's fine. You know, you, you're going to be learning along with your students. You can think through these things as well. There's also these great self-assessments for students built into the program. Yeah, those elements are really rare in this kind of curriculum yeah. style. Anything for teachers to do any kind of reflection is pretty rare. And even for kids, you know, reflecting yeah. on their thinking is fairly rare. Yeah, I love like even the self-assessment is kind of crafty and you, you know, there's a really great positive sort of message to it all. Um, but yeah, the, our big criticism was some of these activities are fairly light. They're, they, they often feel like a great start to something, but maybe not the full thing. And just the organization, you can imagine this laid out so much better. Yes. Um, to where you could, you know, maybe there's a platform you sign into and it gets doled out over a period of time. The videos are all really nice too, but it all just features her where it would maybe be nice to see some different presenters so kids could kind of see themselves a bit better in the videos. And all the videos are shot um, in this you know format that would have worked really well on a phone, but on YouTube where we find a lot of educators turn, it, it crops it kind of strangely, right? But you know, it's one of those reviews where we gave it a, a three star, but I've been, I've been thinking about that three star rating because just the, the, like you can see an incredible depth of thought to the materials and aesthetically it's just off the charts, but it's just, we want to see more from it, but that's, that's part of the, the pain of, of applying a five star rating to these things. Yes. And it's especially, I mean, if it truly is just her creating yeah. all this stuff, that's amazing. And I, also it will take teachers a little time to sort through all the, all the stuff on there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love that idea of, it's also entertaining for teachers to ask kids, you know, how did we listen to music <laughs> back in yeah. the day before the internet and to hear kids conceptual conceptualization of what things look like. Um, yeah, it, it, it's every, an effort is made at almost every aspect of the program to, to find ways into discussing the subject that often feels sort of scary and, and overcomplicated. And, and it just makes having those conversations so easy. And then you kind of guide people into the core concepts of not just coding, but computer science. I mean, there's discussions of hardware, of the structure of the internet. There's a lesson on CAPTCHAs. You wow. know, that you have to, there's a lesson on packet switching. Like it, wow. it gets into things that you just, you don't even see in fully fleshed out computer science curriculum for K to 12. Um, yeah, almost. Really I mean, impressive. pretty much never, I would say. It's all, yeah. you know, block-based drag yeah. and drop. That's, that's the pattern. So to see something that's more in depth, more comprehensive and has this sort of 360 view of the whole situation, that is pretty, pretty remarkable. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Tanner. No <laughs> Hello, <problem>. Ruby. Um, <laughs> and if you want to see more reviews, 
please come to Common Sense Education. We have a ton of reviews and a ton of lists, curated lists that you can peruse at your leisure. And if you like these videos, if they're helpful for you, please subscribe and we will uh, have a video for you very soon. So you're doing great and we'll see you soon. Bye.